The focus of this lesson is on solving rational equations by multiplying by the least common denominator. And um, the reason we would choose to multiply by the least common denominator is when we do that to both sides of the equation, we ultimately maintain balance and we actually maintain the equality. So the solution to our original equation is ultimately maintained. And the reason we would choose the least common denominator as our multiplier is because this actually allows all the denominators of all the rational expressions to be canceled out, leaving us with an equation that we can more easily solve. And so ultimately to go through the procedure for solving a rational equation by multiplying by the least common denominator, we would start off by making sure that we factor both the numerator and the denominator. Factor it as best as you can down. And then what we would do is we look at each of the denominators of our rational expressions and we would determine what is the least common denominator. And if you need to watch a video on this, I do have one posted um, for determining the least common denominator. And so once you decide what the least con common denominator is, you're going to multiply every term of the equation by that least common denominator and then make sure you cancel out, out whatever's common from numerator to denominator, cancel out those common factors, simplify as best as you can, and then solve for x. Now, when you get your solution, um, you're not done. You actually have one more step. You must check your solution. Um, and the reason being is we're not just trying to make sure we did our algebra correct, even though that is important. We're trying to check to see if we have what we th would call extraneous solutions. And these are solutions that aren't um, actually true at the end of the day. And so if we have any extraneous solutions that don't actually check out, they don't make our equation true, or maybe when we plug them back in they cause us to have some rational expressions where we have division by zero, which can never happen, then we have to throw these solutions out even though our algebra said they were correct. So just make sure that you check at the end of the day because you may have to throw some of your solutions out or all of your solutions out. Or maybe you don't have to throw any of them out, but just either way you have to do that check to be able to be certain um, what your final solution truly is.